guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 16 of the Tottenham career mode. And as you can see, Real Madrid have finally, uh, finally finalised, I guess, the uh, the contract decision with Moussa Dembele. He's off for £12 million. We're shipping him out to Spain. And uh, in his replacement, we're going to try and bring in Freddy Guarín from Inter. Now, I need, we've got plenty of cams, but I need another central holding midfielder. And Freddy Guarín fits that. Uh, that role absolutely perfectly. He's a wonderful player and can still provide, uh, you know, goals and assists further up the field as well. So I'm going to go in for him. We've obviously, as you can see, rejecting a bid from Napoli for um, for Yunus Kabul, one of our main centre backs. He and Vertonghen have been absolutely superb for us so far this year. The nine million pound bid for Freddie Green was accepted. Going to offer him the seventy thousand pounds a year. A year, seventy thousand pounds a year would be fantastic. Seventy thousand pounds a week that he wants, and that is in the end going to accept that. And we're going to. Bring in Freddie Guarin for nine million pounds. So we spent 19 million so far. Ten on Nani, nine on Freddie Guarin, and there is more still to come on transfer deadline day. But Guarin starts on his uh, on his debut, and so does Nani back in the uh, back in the first team lineup after uh, after playing well in his first team in his first game rather in the previous episode. But as you can see, we're eighth in the league, but with a game in hand, we can go within a point of Newcastle and Liverpool in fifth and sixth if we win here at St James's Park but it's in the rain and we all know how bad I am in the rain at uh, FIFA 14 Soldado is going to go close here good save from Tim Court Ericsson on the rebound hits the post defender deflection defender clears it off the line hits Ericsson in the chest goes over the bar I've just no idea how that didn't manage to get into the back of the net but nonetheless Papi Cisse is breaking down the left hand side it's a tight angle for a shot good save from Hugo Lloris and he is able to palm it away for to uh, to safety rather than Tim Krull palming it back into uh, into the danger but uh, Eric Lamella is going to play a lovely lofted through ball over here to Paulinho brings it down beautifully on his chest but the shot in the end just isn't quite accurate enough and unfortunately it does go wide perhaps Freddy Guarin had that been him on the end of that effort that might have ended up in the back of the net but Soldado is involved again Nani out on the right hand side is going to do a couple of fake shots Chica Ronaldo top inside turns the second defender in Fabrizio Colaccini and it's a lovely left footed finish for Nani to pick up his first goal for the club in just his second game 31 minutes in 1-0 Newca Newcastle 1-0 Spurs away at Newcastle and that is how we went in at half time so pleased to be honest with the, with the first half performance we're creating chances Nani and Guarin seem to be playing quite well together as well as uh, with the rest of the team and uh, they can get very very close there Anito after a decent move really should have done better with that one scuffed it wide but uh, that was kind of the only chance of the second half it was a bit of a no go or no show rather in, uh, in the uh, the latter stages of that game and we literally just 24 no 48 hours after uh, after that game we had a game against Manchester City who absolutely hammered us the last time we played them you saw the highlights and uh, we're up to seventh we can go above Newcastle now into sixth with a win against City but they were all over us in the first game and having to play a week inside as well because it is so close to that Newcastle game but uh, we got off to a fantastic start Jermaine Defoe shot blocked from uh, from Chiellini of all players at, uh, at Manchester City not only do United have Thiago Silva Man City have gone out and bought in Chiellini but he handled the ball in the box from this shot from Defoe it's a clear handball he goes up just shouldn't, you shouldn't have your hand up there have your hand by your side get your leg higher block it he doesn't it is a handball and Gilfie Sigerson is a fantastic penalty taker and he does pop the ball into the top right hand corner so six minutes in we're off to a fantastic start and I'm not exactly too sure how I did that celebration with a one arm push shot but it is quite impressive nonetheless but just a couple of minutes after that Carl Norton is unfortunately going to get tackled out on the right hand side but it's going to drop to Andros Townsend whips in a beautiful ball to the back post and Gilfie Sigerson's there for his second and our second in just the ninth minute 10 minutes not even 10 minutes into the game and we are 2-0 up against Manchester City a team that absolutely annihilated us when we were up at their place just a few weeks ago we came close to a third there another good effort that was well saved by Joe Hart Gilfie's going to whip in the corner Hector Moreno's going to go up another save from Joe Hart going to try and Head of the ball back across goal. Get a third chance. Can we do it? Sandro's picked up the ball on the edge of the box. Goes with finesse to the bottom corner. But it's just wide of that far post. And unfortunately, we do only go in 2-0 at the break. But still, absolutely wonderful performance from the boys so far. And uh, that's going to even continue into the second half. Gilf is going to get a fantastic chance for his hat-trick. Doesn't get it, but the ball drops to Chadley. Who just squeezes that in at the near post in the 62nd minute. And we take a shock 3-0 lead at home against Manchester. 
Manchester City. They were going to pull one back though. They did start putting uh, putting themselves about in the second half. The initial shot was blocked, but it fell to Jovetic, who uh, was the guy that scored their winning goal against us earlier on in the season. Stefan Jovetic bringing it back to 3-1 there in the 70th minute. But that is how that game is going to finish. A massive three points and a massive six points so overall in this episode with uh, the win over Newcastle as well. Both teams above us, both teams we needed to gain ground on, and we have done exactly that. And we've had an offer in for Jermaine Defoe from Stuttgart for 4.8 million. I've counted off of it, and the reason I've counted off of that, obviously, Jermaine Defoe in real life is still an absolutely fantastic striker. But with FIFA being FIFA, they just lower the, they make the stats go down as soon as a player hits 30, which is ridiculous to be completely honest. But uh, Jermaine Defoe's stats are decreasing. If we can bring in another player, another player with pace, I'd like a faster player because Soldado. He's a fantastic finisher, but he doesn't have the uh, that electric pace that we might need in the Premier League. So I'm going out looking for a fast striker. So you put a bid in for Daniel Sturridge. That was more in hope than expectation. We're going to go out and put a bid in, or we're going to inquire, rather, for uh, Victor Ibarbo as well. Now, I don't know too much about him. I just know he's rapid, and he's ripped me apart on uh, on Ultimate Team. So I popped a bid in for him. We're actually going to... Um, oh, we put to inquire in for him. Sorry, we're going to going to uh, actually put a genuine bid in for Jackson Martinez from Porto here. Now him, I do know a little bit about. He's a fantastic player. Really, really strong, which should suit the Premier League. Fantastic in the air, which should suit the exploits in FIFA 14. And he's half decent pace-wise as well. I think his sprint speed is 84, which is fast enough. It's not rapid, but it's a lot faster than what we've currently got. So uh, the first bid of 8 million was declined. We odd uh, offered nine and a half at the second attempt. Unfortunately, they were going to accept that, but uh, they came back with an, uh, a number from uh, from Cagliari for Victor Barbo. But they waited twelve. Not going to pay twelve. I'll give you seven. Is what I thought to myself. And we'll have to wait and see if they accept that. But the bid for Jackson Martinez, as you can see, is accepted. We're going to offer him sixty thousand pounds here on a three-year deal and crucial first-team player, just to make sure that we get that signing in if Jermaine Defoe's going out. Because I don't want to show uh, let. Defoe go out and then have uh, not be able to bring someone in and be left with just Soldado up top. But uh, we've had the offer accepted for Barbo as well at £7 million, which is a great price and he wants £50,000 a week but uh, we had both offers accepted so I'm going to bring in Jackson Martinez over Ibarbo more for the just more for the fact that he's just a better all-round player as opposed to being majorly just fast but as you can see there are some big deals going down in the Premier League Nasri to Atletico Madrid for 13 and a half Benteke from Villa to Wolfsburg for 23 and City have let Vincent Company go to Juventus for 26 million so there's two big transfers going out of Manchester City this season absolutely massive for them considering we just beat them and they need to keep up their uh, their run of form at the top of the table to stand a chance of winning the title really don't quite understand the uh, the decisions that they've made but nonetheless that is the end of the January transfer window 108 million spent total by all the teams in the Premier League and we've had a rather interesting um, international management job we've had Russia come in and say they'd like us to take them forward into the World Cup now I don't know what to do with this offer I said previously when we got the Slovenia one and I thought it was Russia I was tempted to take it I am tempted to take this one as well I as of yet haven't done it doesn't expire until mid-April or the early April so um, I'm going to leave it to you guys should we take Russia or should we reject it and wait and see if we get a different bid it's up to you guys I genuinely do not mind whether we go to the World Cup with Russia or whether we either A or B don't go to the World Cup or C wait for a different international offer we'll have to see what your decision is on that in the comments section down below but that is going to wrap this particular episode up so if you did enjoy the video please do feel free to leave the video a like that'd be superb if you aren't subscribed already then feel free to do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing with this Tottenham career mode and of course if you missed the previous video the previous episode it will be linked as an annotation on screen over the play button on the right hand side so that is going to wrap this one to a close thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you tomorrow